It's best observed from the air, a sharp divide between fresh and salt water creating surreal contrasts in Tacoma's commencement bay. This chalky white water is clouded with what's known as glacial flour, that's finely ground rock from the crush of ice in Mount Rainier's glaciers, carried here by the Puyallup River. And then once it gets in the bay, it, 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 uh, you know, it forms these two layers, buoyant fresh water on top of denser seawater that's underneath. And, and some of those patterns that you see that are quite striking visually from the air uh, tie into those internal waves. This has happened before, but is an unusual amount, according to Washington Department of Ecology oceanographer Skip Albertson. And you know, we had a really big setup for this. I mean, we had a very wet January and February, so there was a lot of snowpack and then nothing, right? It just got very dry after March. Followed by a record heat wave that wiped a lot of that snowpack away and into the rivers. It's just this year because of the incredible amount of heat and how much snow melted in such a short time. We got a big slug of that water in there, so it was more dramatic maybe than I've seen in the past. This effect will clear over time, but we do know human-caused climate change makes extreme heat worse and more likely. Something to keep in mind when marveling at a site like this and this year's unique conditions. It's beautiful in a way, you know, but it's right. but it's 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 that combination. Michael Crow, King Five News.